Most of us know what it's like to have an aging loved one who wants to stay independent but needs a caring hand. The Israeli startup Kaitera has developed new technology that helps monitor seniors in their daily life. Asaf Sela is the CEO and co-founder of Kaitera and he joins us with more. Thanks for coming in. Hi, I'm Natasha. Good morning. Good morning. So what is Kaitera? How does it work? So Kaitera is focused on aging in place, which is a general name for technologies that assist elders to age at their homes. Specifically, we develop an advanced remote monitoring system that is able to automatically detect distress situations as they happen. So, for example, if a person falls it can, and cannot get up by himself. Interesting. And so what sets it apart from similar technology like Life Alert? So let me uh, uh, explain how it works. So the system includes a wristband like the one that I'm wearing. There are also wireless sensors, about four or five sensors that are spread around the house. And with this, we are able to track um, the activity patterns of the person and specifically track where the person is in the house his posture, whether he's sitting, lying, walking, and so forth, and in general activity. This information is then fed and using, is then fed to an algorithmic layer, and using a sophisticated algorithms, we're able to extract the context of the activity. So we can tell whether the person is um, sleeping in the bedroom or having lunch in the kitchen. With this, we can automatically learn and dynamically learn the activity uh, daily routine of the person and automatically detect distress situations. So in contrast to existing technologies in the market like Life Alert, which uses the very old panic button, which is a technology that exists for about three decades almost without any technological progress, uh, our system brings two main uh, significant advantages to the market. First, it doesn't depend on an active action by the senior himself. Because in most distressed cases, seniors just, just don't press the button for various reasons. Uh, they get disoriented, they fall in a way that doesn't allow them to press, or sometimes they don't want to bother anybody. With our system, they don't have to do anything. The distress is detected automatically, and an alert is issued to service providers and family members. Well, that's, that's very, very interesting. That's not something that we've seen before. So it's, where is the system active today? Where can you buy it? Where can you use it? So um, the system was uh, tested in uh, multiple houses in Israel and in the U.S. And we are about to start a, a pilot in the U.S. Uh, later on this uh, quarter. And in the second half of uh, 2016, this uh, system is planned to be commercially available. Interesting. And so Kaiteria is an Israeli company with Israeli pioneers. How did you guys come up with this idea? So uh, before Kaitera, I was, I'm coming from a technological background. And before Kaitera, I was a chief technology officer of Texas Instruments. Uh, and prior to that, I spent uh, five years in the TI headquarters in Dallas, Texas. And uh, when we looked at the, the aging market, we noticed that there is a significant gap between the value of what existing technologies in this market bring and to what more sophisticated, more of a high-tech technologies can bring to this market. Secondly, we looked at uh, this market and we noticed that it is, it is a huge market. It is a huge issue both in the US, in Europe, and also in Asia. And we wanted to build something that will solve a significant problem. And uh, lastly, aside from the financial uh, prospects, we felt and feel privileged to work on something that will make uh, our world a, a bit better uh, place to, to live in. And so, you know, I didn't ask about this before, but it is interesting. The system doesn't exactly monitor health. It obviously monitors if somebody's in a high-stress situation, but is this something that you're planning for the future? Or are you trying to incorporate uh, health? Into so, correct. So, right now, we are focused on understanding and analyzing the behavioral, uh, uh, the behavioral aspects of a person that uh, lives at his home, uh, provide the alerts when there is in distress, and also provide valuable well-being information in normal times to his family members with regards to how the person is doing. Is he currently in the house? Is he wearing the wristband? Is everything okay with him? And so forth. In the future, we do plan to connect our system with, uh, with other external uh, medical monitoring devices, so we, will be, so we will be able to provide a complete picture that will include both the behavioral aspects as well as the medical uh, information that is relevant to the person. 
Well, I think it's huge what you guys are doing. I have grandparents at home, and, and I know that this would be really, really useful for our family. And I can only imagine how it will help other families around the world. So, good job. Thank you very much, Ambassador.